y'all? I'm Ness Bautista, and I'm here with The Tender Box. What's going on, y'all? How's it going? So how did the uh, tenderness all get started? Um, how did you guys come together as a group? We're friends from high school. We're all from a city called Southgate. We met Raul after because he was in a band that we used to play with. We lost the guitarist, he lost the band. So the chemistry kind of worked. So it's meant to be. Yeah, yeah. We just lost him. We don't know where he is, actually. <laughs> we don't know where he went. Second, but... I was, damn, we lost him. <laughs> no, and the band didn't die on me, man. The band didn't if die on there. me. It was just... Influence obviously is very British rock. Very, I hear the '80s in there. I love the '80s. How did four Latino men come up with such an '80s kind of not Latino sound? We're '80s children, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, to put it to put it bluntly and to the point, it's that's pretty much how it happened. How has Latino music, if it has, uh, influenced your music? I think it's definitely embedded in all our artistic way of going about things because we grew up listening to a lot of Spanish music as much as we did listening to a lot of Brit pop. That's one of the reasons why we're pretty happy that we finally put out some Spanish music because um, our parents were hounding us for years. And Fuego Lento, Techos, tell me about those. Well, Joey and I got together to write the lyrics. The energy is great. Even like if I wasn't in this band and I were to hear the songs, I would really, really like them. Now, your first album was the score. Tell us about Reverence. I think it's definitely a project that we've, we're really proud of, and uh, from my perspective, I feel like it's sort of escalating in, in maturity in a sense. Gotcha. Um, our first album was, I, I'm very proud of it, but I, I feel like this one's kind of taking it to a, lot, a different level. Yeah. Your music has been like, like there's commercials with your music on it, right? Chevrolet, Sony, all that stuff. Like, like back in the day, that was like the kiss of death. But like now, now, you know, it's kind of acceptable now. That's how now, bands get you know? discovered, man. Phoenix, I mean, go with it. And, um, and of course, keep true to the music. I mean, do what you love doing. But a lot of companies are just looking out for that that song that's going to, you know, relate the product. We kind of like the kiss of death. We flirt with it. Right, right. <laughs> do you have a trip out? There's my song! Everybody look at this, my song! <laughs> um, once. I was already knocking out, and uh, I heard that the, the commercial came on, and, and it was just kind of funny, and then I grinned, and then I knocked out. Was it a Sharpie <laughs> commercial? It, it was, was a Sharpie. Yeah. Oh, my world is crashing down around me, inside me. Now tell us about Crashing Down, that's what I want to know about. That's a crazy video right there. Yeah, it's good. It came together pretty good. I mean, the creativity definitely, you know, excelled and I think it showed. I'm very proud of the video. Actually. Who directed it? Um, Major Jackson. So what's the next step for the Tenderbox? What's, what's going on? World domination, I assume. We're pushing that album, man. We're yeah. here to push that album. We want to rule the solar system, not just exactly. planet Earth. Um, get on the, on the road, you know much shows as we can. Quiet guy, tell them why they should go get this album now, both of them. Scream it. Right now. Scream it. <laughs> <laughs> He's busting to Cindy Brady. <laughs> go get the album, it's really good. Well, look, thanks for uh, letting us uh, come here and check you guys out and really check them out. Really, really, really good stuff. And Thank I can't you. wait for, for, for the world to check it out. It's good stuff. Appreciate thanks it. Again. Thank right. you. Thanks. Thanks.